impression of the Bucks last season? What are some of the first things that pop into your head when you think of this team? Uh, when I get asked that, I just automatically think of length and athleticism, um, and, you know, being able to play multiple positions, and that's something that I do well. So. How f looking forward are you to playing with Giannis Antetokounmpo, one of the rising stars here in the NBA? When you watch him and when you see what he can, what he does on the court, it's definitely ex uh, exciting, especially uh, you know after getting drafted, watching some film on him, more film, seeing you know the things that he's able to do out there. Um, you know, I, I just can't wait. The big strides Michigan. you made last season, what clicked for you? Um, I think it was just my level of confidence throughout the course of the year. Um, you know, it's, you know, uh, started steadily rising throughout the year, and then by the time the tournament came, um, it was at an all-time high, and I, you know, I started playing great. So, being a Michigan Wolverine, is it a little surreal being in Badger country now with the Bucks close to the? Yeah, um, I've heard that you know a couple times since you know I got drafted. I think Madison's what an hour away, something like that. So, you know. Getting uh, Milwaukee and Wisconsin fans to start rooting for him instead of booing is definitely a good thing. <laughs> what, what do you bring? What does your game bring to the NBA? You think, and what do you think you can do at this next level? I think my versatility, with my height, and my size, um, on both ends of the floor, being able to guard multiple positions, being able to shoot the ball and stretch the floor, um, like I can. I think that's something you know that I can do right away and have an impact. Is it encouraging to be on a team that you know anyone can make an impact and some of the younger guys have that you can step right in and start going? Yeah, definitely. You know, just watching the rookies last year, you know, um, and Malcolm and Thon being able to see the impact they had right away, you know, hopefully I can do the same thing. How nice is it for you to look forward to playing for someone like Jason Kidd, maybe you grew up watching the guy who's been there and done it on the court? Um, it's great, especially, you know, having one of the all-time great point guards, um, you know, select you. Um, being him from the Bay, me being from the Bay, you know, kind of just having that connection is, is, did, is definitely great. I'm sorry. Did the thing at Michigan um, change your perspective at all, the, the scare that you guys had right before the Big Ten tournament? Did that change my perspective? On just about life. You never know how fragile it is. Yeah, I think it changed all of our perspectives, and I think you kind of just saw that in our play, especially in the Big Ten tournament, us going on that run that we did. Um, coach's message um, from, you know, after that, from the very beginning was you can't take, you know, a day for granted, kind of go out there and, you know, kind of give it your last. And so I think uh, we showed that definitely in the Big Ten tournament. Your first pro presser, what went into the green suit? Uh, I like the three-piece suit. What went into that selection? It was a, a funny story. I kind of got this three weeks ago before the draft, so kind of a little bit of foreshadowing. I think, you know, something that was just destined to happen. So.